Hey all you Clovers, it's Phoebe, and I'm going to walk you through this new feature we have for depth of field and one of the improvements we've done for our 2025.0 release. So let's jump on in and have some fun while we learn. Okay, so anyone who doesn't know how cameras work, and I just want you all to know I'm including myself in this. Uh, depth of field kind of helps you understand like the zooming and the, the focusing of that. So we have that option in Clo when you're in your render window. And just as a reminder, how you get to your render window is at the very top toolbar here. You can go to render and then render. And then this window will come up along with rendering tools. And you can then see in your object browser and property editor, especially your property editor things will change because you're selecting like different tools for your render. So if I go down to my camera icon here in my render window um, under my render toolbars, you'll see here that there's a few options within your property editor. What you'll see is there's a whole section here that's physical camera render only. If you check this on, you then can start to control a lot of things with like the actual camera. One of them is depths of field. Now you might also be asking yourself like, why do I care? Or like, why did you do this? This is why. Sometimes users or like a lot of you will make many custom views of the same project, right? Again, the custom views is if you just click anywhere in your 3D window that's not an avatar or a garment, right click and you can open up your custom views, right? I just closed it, right click, open it. So you can create custom views of like different angles of it. Sometimes if you have multiple objects within the window, then some will become fuzzy, some won't. Sometimes if you zoom in a lot in one custom angle, custom view, and zoom out a lot in another, then sometimes they'll become fuzzy or like they won't be super sharp. Because the depth of field is doing an average over many. And also you couldn't control your depth of field based off of the different custom views you have. So what we've done is we've made it so that when you do set up, if you do like know enough about cameras and you do want to edit this, you can actually tie it to each custom view if you'd like. So I'm in my first one here. And I'm going to hit interactive because this is just easier when it's all interactive. So now I'm going to go to my camera settings here. And I've checked on physical camera render only. I have exposure on and all of that. I'm going to turn on depth of field. So right now with this custom view, I have it. So it's depth of field view, view point focus current view. I can change that to custom views and you can see like, oh wow, that's blurry. So I can do custom views. And what's nice is let's say you're like, what, why is it like this? I don't know what's going on. How do I fix it? And if you're a novice like me who might not know exactly the right numbers or settings or anything like that, but you are smart enough to know that you need control over this. We have focus by left click option here. So you can check this on. And then with this custom view, you can easily just click where you want it to be focused on. So I want the focus to be on her for this picture. And then it will automatically update with this custom view. I can then go to my next custom view here. And then again, I'm like, oof, this is a bit blurry. Who do I want focused on? Again, I can just left click and say, oh, I want the focus to be on her and then it will focus on her, allowing her to be a little bit blurry. And again, you can see how it will automatically change. The next one here, I can go in and be like, this again might be a little blurry, but using this focus by left click, I can say, well, I want you to be focused on here and this will change. And then my next one is the exact same image, but what I'm going to do is ask for the other one to be focused on. 
I say right here I want the focus. And then this is going to be changed. This all is automatically updated. So you can see right down below here the viewpoint focus, how it's been updating while I've been left clicking and changing. While you continue to left click, it will continue to update. But like this is pretty much what I wanted. Great. When you're good and happy with everything, just make sure you go to your image settings. Right now, this is viewpoint current. I'm going to say customs. And then you can go in and decide exactly how you want this rendered out and all of that. When you're happy, you can then, of course, render. And you'll have images like these. And you can see like how the sharpness is really based off of how I selected it. And you can see like the blurry difference and the non and how like it really has adjusted and affected itself with the depth of field. Again, though, if you're not someone who's like, I don't know or understand, the original way will work perfectly for you. This is only for those of you who like really understand cameras or really want a lot of control over their rendering. We now have it so that it's easier and you don't have to like do multiple different renders for multiple different cur uh, custom views. You can just do one render at once and then just set it all up. So really nice and easy. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, use that comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all our other great Clo videos for you. I hope you had fun. Thanks again for watching and keep having fun in Clo.